today we're going to talk about gemstones appearing from heaven. Um, there's been lots of, lots of controversy over this, and I was meditating on it one day, and I was saying, Lord, I really like to know what it is about stones, why the Bible ha talks about stones and gemstones all the way through, why there's uh, gemstones and precious stones appearing in people's hands and on the floor, and, and I'd like to know more about it. And I remember that um, a couple years ago in ministry, uh, people that I know that are personal friends have gone through our church and they had um, gemstones falling when they were ministering and they showed some of them to us, diamonds, and uh, I think they were all diamonds. And they let us see them and told us about them and how they appeared and in their ministry. <clears throat> I also heard on YouTube um, and, and GodTube some stories of people in Mexico with gemstones appearing in their hands and gemstones appearing. And then there's uh, Bill Johnson's ministry who also um, I know ha have had somehow ministries related to them. I'm not sure quite who or what. But they've had gemstones uh, stories. People come through their ministry that have had stories of gemstones. So I wanted to, to know who know more about um, what was actually have happening and what the Bible says about it because everything that happens you have to go to the Bible as a basic now it's not going to happen exactly the same the Bible says that all the things that Jesus did were not written in it because the books couldn't even contain it so you just everything has to point to Jesus okay everything has to point to Jesus not to a statue or to a religion or a saint or someone dead but to Jesus not to angels it has all point to Jesus okay so I wanted to know um, what exactly the Bible said about precious stones so and what will cause them to appear and so let's go to the word and take a look at that um, first of all let's look at Ezekiel um, 20, 28 and Ezekiel is right before Daniel <clears throat> okay it says now this is talking about Lucifer Lucifer we believe that Lucifer um, was the head worship leader in heaven because they called him the anointed cherub and he was also he had timbrel trim t-i-m-b-r-e-l-s trembrels not very good at words and pipes which are musical instruments were built right into him okay it also says you were the seal of perfection full of wisdom perfect in beauty you were in the Garden of Eden every precious stone was your covering and then it names all the precious stones here it says you were the anointed cherub that covers and it says um, you walked back and forth in the midst of the fiery stones so there's another um, thing that has to do with stones and you come down in 16 at the end of 16 at the end of that verse from the midst of the fiery stones so they're talking about fiery stones. Now, just starting off right here, all the other research I did, I'll tell you about, but it comes back to here. <clears throat> when the priests, were, the priests were given instructions to wear priestly garments, and they were made of precious, they were made, and it had 12 precious stones on the very front of their garment and each stone represented a different tribe and they were precious stones and they were big precious stones and the priest's job was to do the sacrifices and for praise and prophecy uh, well for worship the priest's job was sacrifice and worship and so we see that precious stones seems to come back to always having to do with something to do with worship with worshiping God um, whether it was the priests on the priestly garments or whether it was on Lucifer who was originally the worship leader in heaven before he rebelled and was kicked out or um, if you look in uh, all of, look in Genesis 1322 it had to do with the covenant and the blessing it had to do with uh, every time something uh, that they the Israelites wanted to remember they would take a stone as a monument and they would pour oil over it or they would pile stones on top of each other as a monument so there those weren't precious stones as far as value goes as being gemstones but it there again is stones is something familiar um, something that is important it's a memorial so we see stones in the in the Bible as being a memorial to point to Jesus to remember and events that have to do with Jesus we see them as um, tools used 
to cover the garments of the priest, which included praise and worship and sacrifice. We see them uh, covering Lucifer before he became Satan, the fallen angel, the, the god of this earth. And they were his covering. We see um, stones in heaven, the fiery stones that the angel uh, Lucifer walked on before he was thrown out of heaven. We also see the law of God, the Ten Commandments, written on stone. And in Exodus, Exodus 24 uh, and 10, let's take a look at that. Exodus 24. And 10. Let's see, is that correct? 24, 10, yeah. Okay. Um, and they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet as it were paved, uh, as a paved work of sapphire stones. So the throne of God, or they're talking about God here, was like the very heavens in its clarity. Okay, so sapphire stones, a whole road, a whole paved something made out of sapphires and that's not the only place uh, there's other places where it talks about uh, paved about sapphires around the throne of God Yo. 126 okay and above the firmaments fir over their heads was likeness of the throne in appearance like sapphire a stone like a sapphire stone on the likeness of the throne was likeness with the appearance of a man high above it and they're talking about um, one of Ezekiel's visions of heaven. Um, so there is, in heaven is sapphires, a precious stone of sapphire. So apparently God likes sapphires. Uh, or sapphire has a particular meaning to him. Um, let's see here. We're also uh, like jewels and crowns. Um, that talks about precious stones, jas jasper, crystal and so on, that the bride will be adorned. Um, there again, precious stones. Uh, Revelations 21, 19, the foundation, of, the foundation of works adorned with all kinds of precious stones and pure gold. Okay, so in heaven, they have precious stones and it has to do with worship, it has to do with the throne, it has to do with, with, most of it seems as though it has to do with worship with God. Ezekiel 54 11 lay your stones of colorful gems and foundations with sapphires uh, rubies crystal gates and all the walls have precious stones in them that is a description of heaven as I say of 54 11 and Zachary 9 16 says um, that we are jewels of a crown the flock of his people are jewels as of a crown we are living stones built up um, in a spiritual house to offer up spiritual sacrifices and that we are royal priesthood that we would proclaim the praises of him so there again it goes